everybody has an opinion that the the opinion is valid, but it's not. You can't just state it as absolute fact and right. then just you're not giving brush anything away anything to, to the contrary. Right. You got to have something to support it. Otherwise, because imagine when you sh when you turn in a paper in school, for example, if anyone's going to college or high school, you don't just, if it's a research paper, you don't just turn in a paper and say, I think this, I think that, and not put down any citation, no quotes, no paraphrasing, there's no bibliography. That paper's going to get an F. You know what, you know what's even more annoying? What's that? Is the people that do sit down and do the research, but still ignore the, comp like anything to the contrary? For example, like anti vaxxers. Oh my god, it's such a oh. controversial thing, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> well, the problem with that, which you're bringing up, is those people tend to form the opinion first and then do the research, revolve their research around the opinion. So basically, they're going to ignore any other research that counters them. They're just going to focus on the research that supports what they're saying. Yeah, it's easier, I guess. Oh, no. I just realized there's a, like a swirling vortex of entropy right there. <laughs> there's no, there's a tiny, tiny microscopic black hole Okay. Well, right in the uh, center. Uh, oh, am I not dead? I don't think that kills you, but I don't think there's any way to escape. Alright, I'm gonna count this as me dead. It's your <laughs> turn. Okay. Let me get back out of this singularity for a second. There we go. So, <clears throat> this was, I saw this on a, um... Does the key get pulled into that? Yeah, it, it does. does. Alright. So don't let that happen either. I saw a, a brief documentary on this the other day, too. Can you explain to me what entropy is? I know, uh, I know the basic term. Entropy means chaos, but it, on a more universal term or cosmic term. From my understanding, entropy is... I've heard it described as it's like basically the free space. Or f like if the, if the universe was a hard drive, entropy is basically the amount of free space that there is. It's the amount of randomness within a system. And the more entropy there is, the least, the less "quote unquote" interesting the system is, because less can happen as entropy increases. I think you you solved this. I think so. Yeah. Not not entropy. The, the <laughs> I've solved the entropy problem. <laughs> the conundrum of entropy, right here. <laughs> you got it right here, folks. On Cosmic <laughs> Zoom, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh. Uh, so, like, one example of, like, how entropy usually increases in the universe is, like, a black hole forms from a star. A star being, like, a very tightly condensed ball of hydrogen. Yeah. It's a very highly ordered... Well, it's actually a very... Ah, now I'm Now I'm forgetting. Because heat is considered high entropy because the particles are moving around more the more heat there is. But a star is an organized system of hydrogen fusion until it explodes and... It, or it, I guess I should say implodes into a black hole. How do I... I know, I was, I'm listening to you and I'm trying to solve this at the same time. Can you... No, I was about to say maybe if you go uh, on the uh, other end of this platform, but I don't see how you could do that and survive it. Is it a timing thing? Because mm -hmm. it looks like it just disappears. Yeah, okay, so you got to time it. That's going to be tough. How am I supposed to... Whoa, whoa. Almost, almost, oh. Ah. Okay, you know what? I think what you just said made sense. Uh, how it's almost like a storage system. So it's almost like entropy is... You know how you come up with a, an idea or a theory and you have a margin of error? Yeah. yeah. There's always that room for error. So it's almost like entropy, if, I'm, if I am grasping what you're saying, 
Entropy okay, is that. that margin of error in the universe. It's that space left open for anything to happen that's contrary to everything else. Basically, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Is where most things are an organized system of particles doing specific things. Entropy is particles just having the capacity to do anything. Yeah. Oh my god, how do I do this? If only there was a margin of error here in our favor. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. It really? Was it that easy? Are we just idiots? Oh wait, I bet I have to like... We figured out entropy, but we can't think- we can't think our way through this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm coming home! I'm coming home! <laughs> okay. Too much. <laughs> have you have you ever seen this episode of The Simpsons? This reminds me of it. There's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer ended up on a baseball team. Oh my god. For Mr. Burns. I think it was just a company team. I don't remember the whole premise behind it, but the team they were playing against had I think had gotten a <laughs> professional had gotten professional baseball players onto their team. Yeah. And so they, I think, I may be remembering this completely wrong, but I think Mr. Burns made it so that the other players wouldn't end up on that team. They'd have to forfeit or something. So <laughs> one player ends up saving this woman. Her house is on fire. It's an old lady. He saves her, but then she asks him to get everything out of the house. Like, my cat's in there. My dog's in there. My bookcase is in there. My bed's in there. So, so it's like he's missing the game because he's trying to get everything out of the burning house. But we're, what here reminded me of that episode was apparently one of the players, he ends up falling through a hole in the ground. He falls through a hole in the ground that apparently leads to another dimension. It's, it's, like, it's like just, it's an endless hole. He's just falling forever. So he falls through it, and he's like, ah! And it's kind of like this, this swirling <laughs> void. And by the end, I think during the credits, you saw him still falling through the hole. <laughs> it's like in that episode of SpongeBob where the Flying Dutchman opens that zipper in space. I've messed up there. Oh, God. Oh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta keep the ball in there. Yeah. Come on. Set me free. Oh. Almost. So you don't need a key in this one. No. All right. The pillars. I love the I love the scenery in this game. They're just yeah. the at least in the loading screens, the trippy art. Oh, this is a little bit more like an MC Escher picture, <laughs> minus the stairs, of course. You got it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. That's why I like a lot yeah. of indie games. It's interesting how you can do so much with so little. Yeah, but I love it. Who would have thought, uh, hey, let's make a game where you use gravity to solve puzzles. <sighs> that's it. That's the game. There's nothing else to it. Looks <laughs> like that's enough. It's good. Exactly. Oh, you gotta get the key though. It's not gonna fall toward you. I got this. I just gotta turn it. Uh, oh. This away. And then turn it this away. Yeah. Almost. I kind of feel like we're back where we were. No. <laughs> Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Oh, this one's a doozy. I got it. I got this. Okay, I might have put it back where it did start. Yeah, but now you can get it to the door. No, that's where it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> keep keep going. I think it's you're getting it toward the... Um... Yeah, there you go. That's where you were. Right? Weren't you by the button? 
I was, but every time I get to the button, I've moved the key somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you got to get the key into the vortex to keep it still. No, because then I can't get it back out. Oh, Didn't... wait, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. I'm just dumb. You said it, not me. <laughs> get in there. Now stay. I just woke up this morning and the world was like this. I don't know what to make of it. That sounds like a Lovecraftian story. If you woke up one morning and the world was just this. But you know, life life uh, gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I really like some lemonade. Wish I could reach the counter. <laughs> just warp space yeah. a little bit. You'll get there in no time. Too bad time. the kitchen is in another dimension. <laughs> is this my house? This is my house. Or is that his house in the background? No, that's his house. That's where we were, remember? Oh, yeah. We started in the house, and then we ended up going through different doors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Boy, right. this is going to make me late for my shift at work. Where do you think this guy works? Um, KFC. I was going to say more like Popeye's. Uh, no, he's not good enough for Popeye's. <laughs> I've got a PhD. Yeah, that doesn't count for much these days, sir. Mausoleum. Button. Easy peasy. I majored in quantum mechanics. Yep, sorry, doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Not in Trump's America. Well, I do have to say, I do have to say, he did sign a bill that was going to give quantum research 1.2 billion dollars over the next five years. Really? Yeah. Oh. Maybe Don't know where won't. that came from, but... Maybe he actually decided, you know what? I'm gonna make America great again. <laughs> let's, let's do it. I'm not just gonna talk about doing it. Or he's advancing quantum computing for military use. Yeah. He sure loves his big guns. Oh, you know what it is? We won't have to build the wall anymore. We'll just have quantum pockets that every time the immigrants come in, they'll, it'll just suck them in and they'll be stuck forever. <laughs> it's like the quantum realm in Ant-Man. <laughs> yeah. By the way, and I should have asked this from the start. I should have led with this. So when he signed that bill, did he sign it on Capitol Hill? That's an important question. <laughs> That I, I noticed you didn't broach. I did not. I'm sorry. Was uh, it just a bill on Capitol Hill, or was it something more? It was only a bill. Only a bill? Yeah. Was it sad? Yeah, he was sitting there on Capitol Hill. See, that's the thing. We're so worried about the immigrant problem <laughs> that we're not handling <laughs> yeah. depression. There's so much research that could go into depression right now. and I mean, that is also true. Also, I think I may have fucked this up. Well, I think it's timed again, right? The No, I have to get the ball out of there. Um, but I can't I have to be on the button, but I can only be on the button when the level is upright. Let's stop saying button. <laughs> um <laughs> I think this might by be the way, a hard reverse. By the way, that picture there, or that, that niche right there, is that like a, does that look to you like a dead body with a, like a veil or a drape over it? We're in the mausoleum, Ben. Oh, are we? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It, it's... <laughs> look at the wall. But, but, but wait, why wouldn't it just be in like a, a, a coffin or, or some kind of cask? It's what? fresh. You just have an answer for everything, don't you? I try, even if it's wrong. I wonder if that's the bill. He finally, like, he, he <laughs> couldn't take... After everything we talked yeah, about. He couldn't like, take it anymore. All right. They draped the bill over it. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the body. <laughs> the body's the bill. <laughs> All right. So I have to get the ball down here so that I can get down there. It's one... That is one ugly ball. Yeah. I am as God made me, sir. Let's 
Get that in that little nook. He's sad. Well, wait, now he's happy. Well, he's sad again. <laughs> Another thing we need to look into is research into bipolar disorder. <laughs> just mental health research in general. Yeah, just, it, just it, it would be nice. We humans that are complex brains. Damn us. Yeah. But you know, we we always say that, but we, we, we do all of this research, but is any of it necessary? There's only one person who can help us, and that's Jesus. I guess you're right. He heals everything. <laughs> and those are in his own words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to teach you about God. <laughs> I bumped the mic. I'm going to bring <laughs> Lazarus back from the day in. You just watch. You just you just watch with your eye thingies. I'm Run. gonna I'm gonna blow your mind. <laughs> what accent is that? I don't know. It turned into like New Jersey at the end. New Jersey. I think that'd be more like a yeah. ah you ass wipe. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm not good at it. I I bad with accents. The memorial. I've played through like four levels here. Oh my. I think I remember seeing this level before. This is like the mother of all challenges in this game. <laughs> and we're not even past chapter two. 